So Michael, we know that it's important to tell your story during the interview, even on LinkedIn, the about section, it's a storytelling uh, opportunity, but still some people are failing in that sense. So what tips do you have for people or immigrants or students to improve their storytelling technique? That's a tough one, Mayor, because not everybody's a great storyteller. Mm. And it is really a skill. Mm. Um, you know, so the first thing I would say is join a program like Toastmasters, mm -hmm. where you can develop that skill of speaking, not just in public. It's not about giving a speech in front of a thousand people. Mm. It's just being able to have a conversation. Yes. And, and, you know, really work at developing those skills mm -hmm. so that when you're going into an interview, when you're you're posting something on LinkedIn, you you sort of have that confidence about being able to speak mm -hmm. and and share your story. Yeah. I, I think um in terms of weaving stories into uh the interview process, as an example, I would say this is this is giving a bit away, but I always have stories in my back pocket, and right. I've told sto the same story a thousand times, mm -hmm. over and over and over. Mm -hmm. um, if you've ever heard me speak, you've heard the same jokes over and over and over. So um, I think the the ideal is to know what stories you want to tell. Yes. So what story do you want to tell that shows how good you are at your job? Mm -hmm. that shows how you deal with difficult situations, how you uh, are able to make decisions, you know, whatever the the mm -hmm. skill set is that you're trying to, to sell yeah. before you get into the interview, mm -hmm. make sure that you know what story is that, that so once, and, and, you know, let's face it, we've all been in a lot of interviews with the same questions are always asked. Yeah. And you can Google sort of the most common questions yes. that you'll hear in interviews and prepare a story for yes. each of those. Yes. Um, so when someone says, you know, can you give me an example of how you had to deal with a with a difficult situation at work? Yes. You have your story and yes. you know exactly what you're going to say. Yes. And the stories can become... Uh, second nature and they just become very comfortable for you to them, share. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and that's the best, you know, I, I'm a big fan of, of rehearsing yes. and, yeah. and practicing your interview and, you know, have someone ask you the questions yeah. and go through those kind of mock interviews mm -hmm. because you can, you just start to become more comfortable with, mm -hmm. with what you're doing. Yeah. I always tell my clients, you know, have the job description in front of you, the qualify or the requirements they're asking. Do you have a story to respond to that, what they're looking for? And again, as you mentioned, practice. And you practice in front of the Zoom if it's a Zoom so that you can see yourself, your hand gesture, or as you've mentioned, ask people and they can give you a feedback. Practice makes perfect, right? Absolutely, absolutely. So those are great tips, Michael. Again, thank you very much. And for the audience, if you have any other tips, leave them below and tune in next time for another great question with Michael.